What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice. Now this is in continuation to my emulator tutorials. Uh, if you haven't seen the first tutorial on how to install the uh, Nintendo emulator, be sure to check the description for the link to that. Watch that first before you watch this video. This is going to be how you hook the Wiimote up to your emulator to play with your Wiimote and not have to worry about using the touchscreen, which in my opinion, using that tactic feedback from these buttons makes this extremely enjoyable so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and launch the emulator here so what you're gonna to want to do is go down to settings and then I would recommend changing the orientation to landscape makes the gameplay the best and then down here at the bottom you're gonna see Wiimote and what you're gonna to want to do is switch that on but I'm gonna lay down my device here and switch it on and then it will say activating Bluetooth press and hold one and two on your Wiimote just like so and it is connecting and there you go click here when you're done syncing so go ahead and click that and the Wiimote is synced to your device so we can go ahead and go over to our games and I'll play uh, some uh, Super Mario Brothers here for you guys using the Wiimote and the way you hold it is basically like this to play so let me get this remote out of your way so you guys can see and let's just play a little bit of gameplay here so you guys can see that the remote does work and this does make the gameplay a lot easier than using the touchscreen and uh, surprisingly there's not very much lag And as you can see, you get that speed run by holding uh, button 1. So you can, once you get the feathers and stuff, you can actually fly. Oh, well, I died. But, uh, so there's the Wiimote. Now, hang on, guys. This is going to get even better. So what I'm going to do is I do have the Wii Classic Remote. So this is the absolute best way to play your emulators. Take my word for it. So now, to get this to work, I'm going to have to basically exit the emulator and end it from multitasking and then unplug my Wiimote and just basically redo all this because for some reason you can't plug it in and just play so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my switcher and let's end it from multitasking like so and then before I go back into the emulator the Wiimote is still on so I'm gonna go ahead and just open up the batteries here and unplug one to completely power off the Wiimote so there you well, it was sinking, but it is powered off now. So, let's plug in our classic remote, just like so. And now, we can just set that up there. Bring this guy in. Same process again. Go ahead and launch the emulator. Go to settings. And we're going to turn the Wiimote on. We're going to press buttons 1 and 2. It's going to sync up. And we're done syncing once again. Let's go over to the game. Let's launch the game. And let's use the classic remote. So I'll leave this Wiimote up here so you can see that I am using this remote. And trust me guys, this is the best way to play this game. This is so fun. I'm not going to play too much. It is very addicting though. Yeah, let's just go and die here so you guys, you guys get the idea that this does work really good. So there you go. And there it is, guys. That's how you hook up your Wiimotes to your iDevice and play emulators. Now, again, this will work for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. I think I'll do a separate tutorial for the iPad because having that, you know, the iPad's screen real estate to make the emulator very big, and it's even better on the iPad. And there's actually a way you can hook uh, your device up to your TV and you actually use 
your iDevice as a game console in its own way. I, I might do a tutorial on that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about doing that down in the comments. Uh, that's basically it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That helps out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This is Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I will see you all in the next one.